Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be simplifying an algebraic expression. So we're given that a plus b plus c plus d is equal to zero, and we're supposed to evaluate this quantity a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus d cubed divided by the product of a, b minus c, d and c plus d. So I'll be presenting two methods, let's start with the first one. So the first method is going to involve some algebraic manipulations. Obviously, you can take a plus b plus c plus d and cube it, but that's not going to be very pleasant. Instead, I'm going to follow a slightly different approach. So I would like to isolate a plus b on the left hand side and take c and t d to the right hand side. So I can basically write this as a plus b equals the opposite of c plus d since their sum is zero and then cube both sides. It's better than cubing the whole thing. Now, if you go ahead and cube both sides, you're going to get something like this, a plus b cubed. And when you cube a negative quantity, obviously, you're going to have the negative on the outside because negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Okay, so we're going to get something like this. And from here, we can safely say that putting everything on the same side is going to give you 0, or you can just cube them separately and then, you know, handle that uh, later. So for the cubing part, I'm going to use an identity that I use very often, and I believe that's a very helpful formula. And this is what it looks like. So instead of cubing it the normal way, like the binomial theorem, I'd like to put certain terms together. So it's going to look like this. The a plus b quantity cubed can be written as a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. This is equivalent to using the binomial theorem. It's just factored a little bit. And the same thing happens on the right hand side, but I do need a negative sign. So let's put that on the outside and write the inside c cubed plus d cubed plus 3cd multiplied by c plus d. And again, we're just using the same idea with a negative sign. Now I can go ahead and put everything on the same side and then try to simplify that expression. If I do it, I'm going to get something like this. I'll be getting a cubed plus b cubed and then plus 3ab times the quantity a plus b plus c cubed plus d cubed plus 3cd times the quantity c plus d equals 0. Obviously, I could also do that here, like put everything on the same side and then do the cubing. Same thing. Now here, something is going to help us a great deal. Putting the a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus d cubed together, obviously. But also, I want to be able to, you know, put these two things together. So 3ab, a plus b, 3cd, c plus d. Since they have a common factor, they should be together. Now, I got this part in my expression, so I'm going to leave it at, as is. But I will work on the, the part that has the 3 in the front. So, what can I do with that one? Well, remember, a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 0. So that actually gave us a nice identity at the beginning, remember? We said that, okay, from here we can safely say that a plus b can be written as the opposite of c plus d. Great. So why don't we go ahead and use that here? Replace a plus b with the opposite of c plus d. So from there we get a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed plus d cubed. Obviously, that part is just going to stay the same. And then here, I'm going to replace a plus b with the opposite. So I'm going to have to change the sign here to a minus sign. The 3ab is going to stay, but I'll have to replace a plus b with the opposite of c plus d. That's why we need the negative sign there. And then, of course, the cd part is going to stay the same because my goal is to make this factorable. All right. So Let's continue. We have the, the sum of the cubes as is. Now, notice that I'm getting c plus d here and here. So that allows me to take out c plus d. So let's go ahead and take that out. But at the same time, I mean, you can take that out and factor it, or you can do the following. You can put everything else on the, same, uh, on the other side, on the right-hand side, I meant. So you can write this as 3ab times c plus d minus 3cd times c plus d. For our purposes, this is going to be better. Now, 
Remember our end goal is to simplify this expression and we're getting there. So we have the sum of the cubes and then we do need that product. But that's gonna come from here because now we have a common factor. We mentioned that before and we were able to isolate the numerator which is the sum of the cubes. Now I can write this as three times C plus D multiply by AB minus CD. Now, this is really cool, and remember our expression involves this in the numerator and this times this in the denominator. Therefore, it makes sense if we divide both sides by the product C plus D times AB minus CD, and that is going to give us 3 because 3 is going to be the only thing that's left on the right hand side. So remember our expression or our goal was to evaluate this expression and we did and the answer is equal to 3. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate it a little differently. And I know some of maybe most of you have thought about this method right away and you're probably thinking why why don't you just do that right? I know but I'd, I'd like to present you know two methods at least uh, as you know I just like introducing uh, different methods and uh, we've have we've had these problems before like these kinds of problems and a lot of times but every time when I had a problem like this like a simplifying an algebraic expression uh, my viewers suggested the alternative method and I always supported the algebraic version but um, I'm thinking about you know alternative methods and I think this is a good method too uh, so here's the second method as you probably already know. The second method involves the following. So I know that a plus b plus c plus d is equal to zero and I'm trying to evaluate this expression. So here's what I can do. Since they didn't tell us anything about the specific values of a, b, c, d, we have the freedom to choose what we want for a, b, c, and d. And since we got a constant value at the end, I know some people are going to have an objection here. They're going to say, how do you know the answer is a constant? Well, you wouldn't know if you didn't try, but if you did, you would get the answer, right? So you don't always know what the destination looks like. But remember, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. So that's what we're after. So anyways, I talked too much. I know that's all stopped. So we're trying to evaluate this. So why not replace A, B, C, D with certain values such as I can use one for A, one for B, one for C, and I have to use a negative three for D. That's basically mandatory, right? So let's go ahead and replace A, B, C, D with those values and see what happens from here. Obviously cubes are going to be the same as one, but negative three cubed is going to give us negative 27. And then C plus D, one plus negative three is can be written as 1 minus 3 anyways. AB is 1 and CD is negative 3 so I have to subtract negative 3 which means I have to add 3. So now the numerator becomes a 3 minus 27 and here I get a negative 2 and a 4 and their product is just going to be negative 8. So from here I'm getting negative 24 divided by negative 8 which is equal to positive 3. That's basically the same answer that we received before because we are supposed to get the same answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye bye.